Okay. All right. Now we can speak. Now, now we can talk about everything. Anything yeah. you want. So, basically, I was saying to know that there is a point because now we're in the same spot, same place. And this it really feels like a residence because we have a space for everything. So yeah. we wanted to speak to share what we were doing, but at the same time, then we said like, no, sp- wait, 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 wait. Like right after we finished. Yeah. So what because happened? You what, what think happened? that we're always on this YouTube, but it's not true. We have our lives. <laughs> we have our lives. <laughs> it's like a TV star, you know. Like you're always on TV, but you have your private life. Of course. So there's backstage, like real backstage. That we finish. We have a nice lunch. So, but what happened? What what did we did? What did we do? Um, we did a practice for two hours, from five to seven. And this was the third time we did together in the same place. This is the third th- third time that we're yeah. doing together. Yeah. In a, in real life. Yeah. First time at the uh, at Puff. And it's the second time that we have a proper, like a big space. Right. First one was a bit too ghetto. But actually this time it was, the, the configuration was similar to the first one. Yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah. did at Node. Thank you, Chan. Um, yeah, basically we had a separation. The green thing. screen. Yeah, yeah, it was perfect, this thing there. And we can hang the green key that I still am wearing maybe maybe just my head will be floating in the video <laughs> <laughs> just add chroma don't forget hue because it somehow didn't work okay and yeah so we did so we didn't I mean we were like walking around sometimes but basically the idea is that we have our own space we're not like doing like side by side which at I took D, it was a bit like. And I took D was whatever, man. Whatever. In, in we I had a d- table. We had a desk. D- yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 true. We have a desk, but in I took D was whatever. Yeah. And we were projecting also, mm. which I think is useful the projection. Today, it was good because then I could because. Also, the projection was on my side. Yeah. Like, I could just, like, see it. And I was projecting my screen. No, okay. So, usually, I have to go back to Live Lab to see what we're doing. But I don't have to do that. Like, I can just open whatever full screen that I'm working on and then take a look at it. Because also, like, I never really use, like, second screen. Although, if I really want, I can set it up. Like, I can set up my laptop as a second screen but I don't, don't usually do it I never do it so I don't have like a monitor for live lab which would be so useful to have OBS and live lab yeah what I did was like I have my laptop and then I mirror my laptop into the projector and then at some point when I start so I, I start working just with live lab and Hydra. At some point, I start working with the BDMX, and then I connect the uh, secondary screen, and then oh, I okay. use, and then I have it just to see the output of uh, BDMX. BDMX, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know about most of the the part. Except the end, we well, I was dancing, and we had some, <laughs> we had colors. <laughs> well, because I noticed that you started doing audio reactive, kind yeah. of. Yeah, and also the hue. I was changing the hue with yeah. the uh, LFOs. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that same, and because of some technical difficulties, it didn't work as I expected. But because I had to do some kind of weird routing of the sound and there was a huge delay but it kind of worked yeah like, the, the, like, like the images that we have like from the last half an hour were really good they were very interesting but at the same time make me think because I don't know I I wanted to share this with you then I thought 
this looks good. And then I thought, um, how to say that? Because, for instance, like the way how I, how I create effects, I can do very fast like things that you have to code. Uh, then I was thinking what I was doing this like, wow, we should talk because in a way, I, almost I was thinking like, as a setup uh, where we use the code when we need it, uh, but then from, from the effects or something like this, then we just go with BDMX, which is a software for VJing. Um, but then uh, at the same time that I was having this thought, then I thought like, wow, but this is really like going for uh, functionality and making something good. And that made me, I don't know, I wanted to share this with you because I, I don't know how to feel about it. I see. Yeah, 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 I can relate. I can understand. I mean, I think, to be honest, like, I think as a geek, you know, if you want to be hired for to perform and show something that, in a way, people like, then I think it makes sense, in a way, like, to work in that way, you know, like, support from our skills. And... But as a research, as the ontological research that is the best practices in contemporary dance, I think we should be careful with that also and make sure that we don't go to the comfort. Yeah. I see. Because in a way, I mean, following the, that idea, I can, I can imagine if, that as one of the other branches that we can set is like, could be gig. Like a gig, not even a hybrid performance, but just a gig, you know, where we really try to perform kind of like an audiovisual show as a duo, as a duet. But you mean like working with other people or just like no. with other DJ, for example? For instance, like with music, yeah, 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 yeah. as a li uh, yeah. live set, yeah, you know, like uh, audiovisual, yeah. like an, uh, an audiovisual performance, yeah. I would say, I think that you should do it alone. Like, I don't really, because I'm not really interested in, in it anymore as, as a gig. That's the thing. Yeah. That, um... I mean, I can do it. Like, as you said, if we, you know, try to th figure out what I do with the code, what you do with the uh, VMX, and it's also, you know, you can mix videos with the video capture and stuff. It's all possible, but then do I want to do it? Um, well, maybe it's interesting to do it like, like once, but I don't think that's something. Like, I don't think that's my passion. No, I, I mean I I feel you because it's the way how I feel also. But it, what I th as I said before, I think it could be something that could be a branch. You know, then mm. then we know like okay, now what we're doing is a, is the gig. Mm. But indeed, like uh, I'm more interested in in the ontological process that we have we are trying to do yeah so in that sense I, I agree with you but I think because I didn't want to say like I really don't want to do it because I can also see that something something interest will hap interesting will happen during the process um, but it doesn't have to be a gig I mean that's the, that's the thing of the the difference between like how I see the hybrid performance, which is an ontological research, live with people, and the other thing is the gig. That is in a way like just we put it aside. Let's say. Um, yeah, it's also like that. It has to like constantly something has to happen, and it doesn't have to be. There is no dramaturgy, for example. I mean, there is. But yeah. Kind of, but it's not that. Yeah, 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 I see what I mean. It cannot be a composition, like a, like a set piece that we present over and over and over. No. I mean, that could be... I mean, like, if we start to think about that direction, it's going to be like an installation, I think, that we that? use the video material instead of it performing. If we think right. about composition. Hello. Anyway, I think, I mean... Let's leave this thing aside. Uh, I think also what happened is this is the first time we do a practice in like one month. Like the last time was in yeah. the in the impulse dance, end of <clears throat> July, so almost two months. Yeah. So 
I think it was great, like to be in the same space and Naoto was trying to use the Kinect and didn't work. <laughs> like during practice, I was installing the driver actually, <laughs> and it didn't work. Uh, yeah. But also, like, because I, I saw it, like, you know, because we did the development before, like, one day format. So I was like, yeah, like, I can think this, because I have two hours, so, like, I can just say, like, 30 minutes or even, like, one hour of, you know, development within the practice. That's also okay. So I was trying to run it. I even downloaded Open Frameworks add-on made by Elliot, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you, Elliot. <laughs> thank you, Elliot. We couldn't use it. That was, yeah, but that was because of the Kinect. That yeah. was not, uh, even with the official 3D viewer, it didn't work. Uh, yeah. What else? For me, the setup was a little bit inconvenient because I don't have a proper display, so, like, proper monitor for the computer. Because I, this time I brought the proper... <laughs> Computer. But maybe what you could do, I mean, is there is this screen that I told you, but it's just 720, so it's very ah, small. I see. It's a very small screen, but that's the screen that you could use from here. Yeah, maybe I can use it as a secondary screen because if yeah. I use a video capture and uh, so I, what I was doing is I use a video capture and then show it on my laptop, and that goes 1080p I think, and that was like okay, it's not great, but I could do it. Anyways, I was recording. The whole thing with at 10 ATP, so with OBS, so it doesn't really matter in the end. Are yeah. you record at 1080? Yeah, I record at uh, 720 always. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, that's just like, the technical things, but like to be honest, like things that I found that were interesting was like it's difficult, I mean, because we were like. We were in, in the same space with tools, so we were testing things. So it's difficult to actually give the time for yourself to just stop, basically, and just look around, you know, to really to, to embody the space and what right. is going on. So sometimes when I have the, the... When I give the space, then things were interesting. Then I, I, it was... There were things happening, and then sometimes, like when you pass through my screen, or when I mean, once the, this uh, invisible, which is real, um, uh, line, the border between you and mine setups uh, are crossed. So or when you pass my screen, or when I pass your screen, I think more than how cool was the image or not. I think as those moments are interesting. Because we acknowledge that we are in the space, mm. and actually, because we're using like with the chroma key, but the space is the same. So at one point, I was like looking at the image and looking at part of the image, and I was like, "Is this my view or yours?" Because the background is kind of the same. Yeah, and that becomes really interesting. Yeah. Also, like when I was walking around, I could see myself small. But is it my view or your view? Like, right? Yeah, I have that was seen. quite that was quite interesting. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's space. I think in general, what I feel that could be more to explore is the space, like but the mobility of the space. At some point, you start moving with your laptop, hmm. and that was nice. Then I was following you at some point also. I think that was. Yeah. I didn't check the image, but just the feeling. That feels very like natural. It felt like um, very performative in a way. Mm -hmm. Like how would you re would react in a dance environment, being affected by other bodies in the same space. Mm. So, yeah, I think the connection was a bit choppy during that. Uh, I don't think that my laptop was like very slow. I don't know why, but live lab was looked really slow. Maybe because it's the third person in the live lab, so it kind of slows down. What I want to say is, I like what I like about today's configuration is we were kind of separate. We had a separation, mm -hmm. but in the same space. And it, at in Protestants, we were in the same space, and there yeah. was like we were sharing the space. Yeah. 
and I don't I wouldn't say which is better but this was interesting I mean to think about these two possibilities yeah yeah indeed because yeah to be honest yeah that's the feeling that I got from this one this time this, this is this is way too strong like to have this in the middle to, uh, that's the way how I feel like if I compare with the impulse dance maybe it felt more organic because there is not a separation I see so in this one it feels really like you're trying to create a I think it's yeah I think it has to be with realities in a way like in the sense of we are trying to portray or to separate two realities but it's not as strong enough as an object in the space you know what you could see online it's is okay because it works but as a live as a hybrid performance so for the person who are there it's a bit silly because it's not really said in the physical thing that is I think what I'm trying to say is like if we're gonna do something like that the object that we are using it must respond to something it cannot just be something like a square hanging it's just no. it felt just very fake or very artificial let's say okay it felt like we need this because we need to hang the green key yeah I see yeah it was really ad hoc makeshift um, but it could be also part of the stage design I don't know what is choreography and stage design but for example like we could move it I was thinking that. Yeah. I was thinking first, imagine that we have something that is mobile, so that it has wheels. That will make a huge difference because then we can just move it around. Mm. Also, these things can be tilted if you just move it. So, just like using the thing as an object in the space, so as another element, not just something that is an artifact that it has no purpose more than just separate reality. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, because, yeah, because I think that the offs what is off from there is like we use something that actually separates reality which makes sense online but life make no sense because it's not really doing something it's not really separating reality you see what I mean like online makes sense because the, uh, this thing separate you and me basically the green key the green key okay uh, because otherwise you, we will see each other. So in a way, like gives actually a clear canvas for you to play and for me to play actually at the same time. But in 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 li uh, live. Ah, uh, okay. Like uh, online you mean like online viewer. Yeah, the online viewer. Mm. If somebody's watching for <coughs> somehow like two the two things at the same time, they can really experience uh, the two realities. But in the space, is an object that is is. We know what it's doing, but other people won't f won't understand what is it, and it's just something mm. that is there and it's off. True, it's very uh, it's an artifact, very fake. I don't think is the word, but yeah, something like that. Artificial, yeah. Artificial, yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's true. I didn't think so much, but for example, this was probably really not interesting if you watch in real life. Like if you watch it online, probably it's interesting. Yeah. Or certain. You know, yeah, there is something. Yeah, certain. Yeah, yeah. There are moments. Yeah, the last part is good. And, but there was something. If if I compare with the the impulse dance, there was something that was completely off. Um, mm, true. Also, we both were chill. No, I mean there was there's no public, so we are just chill testing things, and there was no pressure. But. It was not so interesting for me if I compare in regards to, in, in really, uh, comparing with the impulse dance. Hmm. I mean, it was different. I mean, we did it as if we are in a different different spaces. Oh. But that's what I mean with the realities. You know that sometimes, like, and that's so. Sometimes we cross these realities a tiny bit when you have when I ask you, and th those moments are interesting. When I'm asking you now, to how can I do this? Mm -hmm. And then you come and you break that reality. That moment is interesting. Uh, nothing happens there it doesn't mean that we have to start acting you know but just to have the at least to, to acknowledge these moments yeah mm. 
Yes, it's a thing with reality. I mean, I make a lot of... I, I think in my... I'm thinking that it gives me this uh, feeling of virtual reality somehow. Now this, like... It's, yeah, it's something that is... It's about realities. Yeah, it was almost like what we did. And if you watch there, it's like behind the scene. What do you mean? Like if you watch this as a hybrid performance in the same space yes then for the audience it's like behind scenes because true. yeah the thing is not happening there in a way true yeah but it's true yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah you're right yeah. yeah also for instance the way how I was doing the last the last part when I I found interesting things in what you were doing and I I, I said my I found some feedback and then there was like uh Coming from the center yeah. out, and then I, I found a way how to use the X and Y axis. So then I was basically BJing with the music. Yeah. And that was interesting, but as you said, I guess online will be interesting, but for offline, I'm just BJing. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah. What could be so, interesting, I, maybe, sorry, what could be interesting is that. Uh, so I brought with me a, a, a MIDI controller that is uh, wireless. This that I'm using today is not wireless. So I brought one wireless, but I need to set it up uh, in a way. The way the way how it works so far is every time I'm not using it or something, it will go out of the Bluetooth. So I have to do the process again to connecting the thing. So it's something in the setting and the setup. I need mm. to install the right driver or something. I need just to to do it. Uh, but then I will have something. For instance, it will be the same situation where we found something interesting. Like you were doing some motion and it's repetitive and it works with the image that mm. I'm creating. Right. Uh, and also with your image. Then I can embody it when I'm BJing. Uh, same through movement uh, somehow. But then I need to be free. So I could mm. do that uh, if I have this wireless thing. Yeah. No, actually, what I wanted to say is almost the same thing, but I mean, I mean the same direction. That then the reason why people use sensors is that right, like to like heart rate or whatever. Like maybe heart rate is not that interesting, but let's say connect and then track the movement and attach that to visuals, for example. Like some of the parameters is very simple. But then you can be performative instead of using MIDI controller, and you can be performative, and then something also happens with the image. Yeah, I'm not saying that we should do it that way, but that makes sense. That like why people do that. But I think the reason why I'm not so interested is mostly if you do that, uh, everything is kind of set. Like you cannot, you have to kind of stick to. The kind of pre-made, program. but I mean, but that's what we do, no? I mean, this is we have a contradiction in what we do, like it, because basically what we do or what I do is then I I play or I develop until I found something that is interesting for what we do, and then I will play, and then then I stay there. So then I leave my computer, and then I will start move right, and then I will do the process over and over and, and over again. So in that sense. This idea of the Kinect, it responds to the same thing. If if we have mm. the uh, sensibility of understanding enough is enough, and then just you move on and uh, you start doing something else. But I think it's because of the nature of what we do is with the computer. And as you were saying this morning, this I mean, it works or it doesn't work. I mean, there is not there is not an abstraction of that. Either this code will run or the technology will be on or off mm -hmm. that's it so unfortunately unfortunately even if we work with hydra even if we do performance yeah but like, does the thing that i mean does the thing that i i don't know i think this is part of the same idea of the post-humanism like tr or trying to imagine what is not possible to imagine um mm -hmm. so try to leave your body to, to imagine something that is not possible to imagine within within this body because there is the impossibility let's say, bringing it to what we're speaking, like the technology, because it's on or off, nevertheless, uh, I think insisting in trying to 
embody that process is what you're doing. So I think insisting in the process of basically being being in the flow and how it doesn't have to be so rigid on I setting up, I dance, I stop, I go back, I set up, I go, I dance and and again and again. Um because at the end that's what it happens. But um I guess if if we are in the flow, we spoke of that like very early in this uh, chats. I think this uh, the passing by these two states of computer and dance uh, are should be more uh, softened, like the edges. <clears throat> yeah. No, this is something I think uh, after the practice, like. Because during the practice, I don't think really about what I'm doing right now. It's more about okay, I'm dancing. I'm I got bored with what I'm seeing. I change the code, and then like changing the code, I'm lazy, so I wouldn't spend so much time. Although you know, there's like always rabbit hole, try to debug something doesn't work, something doesn't work. <laughs> but then you know that's the moment I'm like okay, whatever, I'm dancing again. And I think I'm really getting good at switching back and forth. Um, but that's something that like, comes not naturally, but I think I get the flow at this point. But then after the practice, I can really think backward, uh, like think about the practice. Okay, uh, yeah, this this moment I was coding. But it's really alien. We like, should do, you, sorry, yeah. yes, go ahead. Yeah, it, it it's it seems really alien, like because there's no like rational decision why I stopped dancing, why I stopped coding, started dancing again. No, I mean th this is in it goes in uh, on the direction of like being sensible of what you're doing, of what mm -hmm. you're doing, mm -hmm. of what is happening. So I still think that I speak from my side, like I can be more try to be more sensible, trying to stop more often to embody what is happening in the whole space now that we have a space and but yeah so this is uh, about that but I was thinking that we should do we should watch what we what it happens and we should record it like we should do that exercise tonight if you're up to that we should watch what the recordings Okay. What yeah. we did, yeah, yeah, and then just we we put it in the media space that we have a big screen, and then just we basically we we put we record somehow and the comment comment basically we said that we wanted to do that always, so we can do it now here. Yeah, that will be interesting. Yeah, and then we can th see what each other is doing during yeah yeah time. that's that's and actually old. if it's necessary then like pressing a stop I think it will be a really good exercise like a stop like wait 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 I mean I guess. During the performance, during the the watching, we can just comment. But at some point, if there is for, there is the, the need to understand something, then we just pause, pause the video, and then we just talk a little bit about it. Yeah, it sounds like we need like twelve hours. To I, was <laughs> that, I was thinking that. <laughs> I was thinking it's, that it's, it's already two, two hours. hours. Yeah. It's already two hours. <laughs> no, but we, what, what we could do is like I did it one time. I told you like when I was here, I put sides side, side to side. The the both uh, videos, and then so I think that could work. It just we put it side side side, and then it's just two hours instead of watching two hours and then two hours. Yeah, for sure. Like because then you can see the connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What is I mean? What 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 I'm foreseeing is that if we put this video side to side, I don't know how what how happens with you, but when I put in this you and me side to side. I will be watching myself more than when, when I'm watching you because in a way I'm oh. trying to, I don't know, I guess like trying to find where did I screw it up basically, <laughs> you know, this kind of like where like, oh my God, this was terrible. Um, so I'm curious to, to do it with you. Maybe your presence will make the thing more light and then I don't have to be completely on myself. We'll see. But yeah, we should do the narration. But then oh, for that we need to upload the videos. Yes. So that's something that videos. we have to do because the internet in PATH is unbelievable. Man, and now it's good. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I told you like, I think three years ago, 
or two years ago. I think it took me, yeah, I couldn't send, like, I think it was less than 10 megabytes, an email. I couldn't send it. It was impossible. It was that bad. Yeah, maybe pigeons were sending data no, to man. Paris. It's horrible. To the data center. Anyways. But maybe we can deal with that. Uh, maybe we can, we let's, can let's talk about it uh, in the backstage or <laughs> yes. of the record. But yes, let's, yes. let's close here and then... Yes, and then we see you. I guess yeah. this is super cool. We are doing... This is the second chat of the day? Yeah. Okay. So we did two chats, one practice, one long wow. practice. Wow. This is so... We're on fire! On fire! Yes. So so much work done, huh? Yeah, I'm powerful like that. Okay. You keep saying 140 whatever hours, but now we already have, you know, like maybe plus five hours of content <laughs> since you said it. We should, we, yeah, yeah, we should, yeah. We have to calculate it again. Have to calculate. It. We should have a website where it's just with a counter. Have, with a counter. Yeah, we have this much amount, uh, this much uh, hours of. Uh, there should be a way how content. we can calculate this. No. Could be tricky, no? Because then you have to. Okay, yeah. we go back. We go backstage. This is yeah. like this is nerdy stuff. Okay. So please like the video, subscribe. Thank you, everyone, subscribing these days. And uh, what else? And uh, looking forward for the next one. Yes. So. Ciao.